All right, so let's talk about the pros and cons of the CDL road test changing. Wait, you didn't know that the CDL road test was gonna change? Well, you better find out now because in August of 2023, this year, the road test is gonna change completely. Now, the road test is gonna be split into three different parts, just like it is right now. The first part of the test is gonna be inspection. Second part of the test is gonna be parking. Third part of the test is actually driving on the road. The only part that's not changing at all is the driving on the road. Inspection and the parking are going to change completely. Now, if you want more details on exactly what's going to change, definitely check out this video right over here. So then we can go through the entire details of it. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about what are the pros and what are the cons of actually changing the CDR road test. Well, one of the pros are that the fact that we are a third party testing site, we actually know that the road test is going to be changing before most people which means that the pro is that because you're watching this video, you have the ability to act now and actually get all your CDL stuff done before the CDL road test changes, right? Because right after the pro, you gotta talk about the con. One of the cons are anytime the test does change, it usually gets more difficult, at least in the beginning until people get more used to it, right? So that being said, one of the cons are every change does come with more dif difficulty. Now. What is another pro of actually having the CDR road test change? According to the federal government, they're actually changing the skills test and changing things around simply because they see a lot of things happening with the actual industry itself. So let me give an example. One of the things that they're actually adding to the CDR road test when it comes to the maneuvers is that they want to make sure that you can pull up and put your front bumper in between of a three foot box. You're gonna have one shot at it. There's no stop and go kind of thing. There's no get out and look there. And this is going to make sure that you fully understand where the front of your vehicle is. Now, I don't know if you've ever been inside of a tractor trailer before, but it's very hard to actually see where the front bumper actually is just by looking. Like even if you do one of these things, it makes it very difficult to do it. So making sure that you have that skill set will prevent you from kind of cutting around different turns or kind of hitting people from the front simply because you know where the bumper is going to be. So that's another pro to the whole thing. One of the cons are gonna be the pre-trip inspection is gonna be changing, which means anytime the pre-trip inspection changes, things get more difficult. So they're actually talking about uh, making the same exact inspection that's happening now, just with more details on each individual thing. So to give you an example, you're gonna to have to say, okay, my alternator is belt driven. It's operating properly. Now damage or leaking and mounted securely. My alternator belt has no more than three quarter inch of play, no cracks, frays, loose fibers, or signs of wear. That's what you're gonna have to say currently for this road test. Now, they're talking about for the next road test, when it does change in August, you're gonna have to say all of that that I just talked about, plus you're gonna have to say things like, my alternator's purpose is to charge the battery, make sure that it's at least at 13 volts when it's charging, there has to be no arcs on the actual wires, all the wires have to be covered, and no splices on the wires itself. So like I said, sounds kind of simple, but imagine adding all that detail to each individual item just so you can get credit. So that means the, the pre-trip inspection can get a lot more difficult, right? So those are the simple pros and cons of the whole thing, but the biggest pro is the fact that you understand this information now, you can actually take advantage of making sure that you go through the entire process before August even happens. Because of this, a lot of people are trying to speed themselves in and they were hurt last time the road test changed and they were trying to squeeze everything in right at the end. So we want to avoid all of that stuff happening. Right now you actually do have some time. We are scheduling a road test for like the beginning of middle of June. So like I said, we're only gonna have two more months after that. So definitely make sure that you get yourself enrolled. If you have any questions, make sure you give us a call 908-525-3609 or check out our website at cdldrivenacademy.com. Again, cdldrivenacademy.com. Our mission is to help you get on the road to freedom with your CDL license. We don't want you to jump through any extra hoops that you don't have to. So make sure we implore you, take the first step now. All you need to get started is $500 down, and then we can work out a payment plan for the rest, and we can get you going before the CDL road test does change, and it makes it much more difficult for you to actually get yourself a CDL license. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really gonna help us out. Click on that button. And if you wanna continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.